Hey guys, it's Formula Kia. Welcome back to the European SIS 4 as the Ottomans. Orthodox Ottomans with a tiny bit of patriarchal authority. Ooh, minus 0.15. Oh, look on, that's fantastic. I'm still contemplating, like, r removing those religious ideas, but I guess, you know what the idea Jake says, religious ideas are good. So I'm going to go by his advice, and let's continue. So France should be basically just beaten. I don't know what we are actually waiting for. I'm not sure. Let's improve relations with Savoy, because he's the closest guy who can join the coalition. Oh, let's see what the peace deal will look like. So I want this to go to Guyane. I want this to go to Guyane as well. So we can give him Paris next time. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be pissed off really soon. But hopefully he will keep him in check. Uh, am I paying Diplo for these? I am not. That's fantastic. So the CB is really nice. Yeah, that's gonna piss off people. But mostly people that already were in the coalition against us and they left. Well, they are forced out. Denmark is not gonna start it. And let's not forget one more thing. That's why I'm still in this war. I remember it. We are in this war because Naples is our rival and we can humiliate him. So as soon as we unseach our province over here, which is giving us some unrest over here, we are going to go ahead and siege up his capital and separately piece him out first. Uh, giving us a fantastic power projection just from that. You know, to see what we can do more for, to him, but it'll be the gist of it. I love how Brabant is trying to un like siege us up over here with two exiled troops. It doesn't work like that, Brabant, not at all. And I've been, I have been making like, I've been calculating stuff. When we get finally a dude on the throne, because ladies, well, it's the Middle Ages. No, it's medieval time. So, uh, um, well, they are not really equal to men, so they have lower legitimacy. But she's strong. She's a strong lady. She's even stronger, way stronger heir, and yeah. Uh, when we can get the Defender of the Faith, we will have four with the religious ideas, with the right next one, that's five, with Conquest of Rome, that's six, with make, making the Pentarchy happen, that's seven. Seven is a pretty good number, I feel like. Seven missionaries, pretty powerful ones, that feels like quite a bit. It kind of makes me remember the, the glory of the Naj, the Empire, right? Right. Oh, he did, he just, he just can't squish him. Oh, that's right, he unseized that, oh, he sieged that up. What a bastard. Yep, squished him over there. And where will be the next war is, we have to think ahead a little bit, at least. So I guess it will be down there. Because we are going to lose the uh, truce with Morocco and the Mamluks. I think I will still keep improving relations with these guys. Like, Tuscany is topped off. It will piss off, I think, Savoy. Like, it is based on culture, right? Maybe not even Savoy. Burgundy will be pissed off, but we can't really fix that. Bar actually likes me. But he will be pissed off as well. He was in that war as well, so it doesn't matter at all. But then it is fine. He should be still fine, and we can then work on him if he isn't. So, yeah. Let's fast probably getting some coins on Morocco. If he has something a bit more expensive, let's not forget the Berber traditions that are still increasing it by 50%. The only saving grace over here is that they are overseas. So I think Kabylia is a good idea. It's like a decent base tax or development over there. Do I have like a road risk over here? I do a little bit. Ah, the Englishmen. Like when we get the legitimacy up, it'll be all fine. English at 50. Well, we have a lot of armies. You don't need everything down there, really. Against those savages? No, 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 no. The problem is still the looming disaster. That really sucks. And there's really no way around it right now. Yeah. So we have to feed our vassals more than feeding us. Because we get like 12% closer to the disaster actually happening every time we 
every time we take some provinces because we get overextended and then it sticks up. Yeah, that's not gonna work, France. At least not gonna squish again. Ah, it's just uh, cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. Now you know what? Let's keep these guys around. The truth is, Morocco is over. All right. I do not think he will start a collision or something stupid like that because, well, he's not really that stupid actually. Surprisingly. <sighs> Whatever. Fuck you, Naples. Yep, this general just died because, well, as I just said, fuck you, Naples, the game said fuck you, but look at our army tradition. I've just noticed that somehow we have 77%. Well, it may as well be a percent, because it goes up to 100, right? It's just insane. Let's try to do this, guys. Let's try to, let's try to get it. I'm not gonna say no to that. It's just like, no, well, it's fine. It's fine, general. He may actually go ahead and attack me because I, that general just died. But I think he's just gonna go ahead and go. He was the Inquisitor, but we weren't using him. We are not using the Revolter's guy. 79. Oh god. Yeah. Not teaching the rest will be fine. We have to kill that stupid army. We have to siege this up. Mm, there's nothing dangerous around. There's still some heavies from Brabant. I don't think they are lurking around. I think we can... Oh, we are building new galleys, weren't we? Oh yes, we are building new galleys as we speak. Our navy has, our navy has been diminished somewhat. How big is the blockade? Only four guys. You know what? I think we'll go ahead and grab those 20 guys in Valencia. So we can peace out Naples faster. I don't like to really start. Oh, that, there he is. There is the fleet. I knew there was something lurking about. Can I catch him? Yep. Kill them all! Don't let anyone survive! Only six uh, lights and ten galleys. We'll have some losses. We really lost some uh, transports, it seems. No, we, lost we left transports behind. This is just dumb. Come on, kill them! Like, what's happening? Why isn't he dying? Die? Yeah, finally. We need more men. We need more people. Sieging stuff up. Oh, Guyane. Guyane is the man. Guyane is the man. I think it's Guyane is actually the lady, right? He lost, the, again, five galleys. But you know what? We have re re replacements over here. We have enough transports to take everything. And... Oh, look at look how much shit he took from the Pope as well. Huh. How dare you kill, uh, take stuff from one of the Patriarchs? You bastard. You will pay for this. You will pay for this insolence. Is that fleet in the Black Sea doing? Uh, protecting, I think, Jin. I think it's Crimea trade note. Because it's the only one that's contested at all. Those are sending all the stuff to our Constantinople anyway. So, yeah. Those are, this is a couple of our light ships protecting that trade note. Hey, he squished him. He managed to do what I wasn't able to do. Guyan, you are the man. You are, you are the lady. Yeah. Your victories will be short-lived, you piece of crap Naples bastard. Your army will be destroyed. Your prestige forfeit. And, well, you will basically just pay. You shall pay. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty good. Because I am pretty sure we will lose him as our rival. So we can then milk the Hungarians. Although he's allied to Austria. But we, we can attack this Moldavia. Yeah, and just humiliate him again. Maybe take like one, one or two provinces. We are not taking those three because those are extra coin cost again. They are pretty expensive. Holy shit. So. Fleet is coming in with the reinforcements. And you don't piss me off. Just unsiege that stuff. 
Just do it. Do it, my army. Look at them. They did it. So you can do it. Just do it. Also, it would be so much easier if there was like a straight crossing down there to Gibraltar. That would be so nice. Yeah, it's... Oh, he allied to Naples. Oh, goody. <laughs> yeah, Syracuse would have been sieged up. So our navy is here. They... I will wait for these guys to finish. Because there's no very... Oh. Yeah, we can do just this. I guess you'll do it. Why well, not? Might as well just do it to Cosenza or Calabria directly. So you can send them over there and beat up this son of a bitch. We can even blockade this straight, so he, has, he should have nowhere to run. So he should be destroyed. We go right here. So let's unsiege this, so we have somewhere to run. Hey, and it instantly unsieged everything. Everything. Also, this army is losing me quite a lot of manpower. Let's stop doing that, okay? But that's not necessary. Not at all. You boys, go there and wait for await further instructions. You can go here and together you will smash the Naples army. Like there's no tomorrow. And then you will siege those sieges. Oh, Teutonic Order. Oh, yes. They are again on the point, guys. They are just... They're just so good. Okay, the truth is that it is over. We are not using that diplomat at all, right? No, ah, we are. Yep, we are probably getting on Morocco. We still want at least one of those other provinces, so it should be fine. Hey, he has maneuver, so they are not taking any attrition. Nice. Alright, over. Over and up. Over and under, and to the side, left and right. And let's destroy these guys. Oh, hey, Dicto! Yep, we finally took Malta. It is ours as it should have been this whole time. Cliff. Oh, we have improved relations with the Emperor as much as we could. I mean, why the not? There's no better way to spend the military points, really. He's in the mountains. You coward! Mountains will not protect you from my wrath. You will be destroyed. Die now. Ah! That just feels so good. And that feels so good as well. That's Brittany, fully sieged. I can piece him out and give like those two provinces to Guyan, I guess. I think I have stopped kinda caring about the aggressive expansion. It may bite me in the ass. But I feel like it's fine. So again, we'll take two provinces. Pretty expensive to core, but don't worry again. Well, when you core them, we will eventually let him revoke those cores. But that's, that can wait. Uh, no treaties. I don't know. It doesn't matter really. What else? More apps. I just want the truce to be as long as possible again. Just break your true. Break your relations with the band and the Spain. Who cares? I don't want to fight you anytime. Actually, you know what? You can keep the one with Spain. So we can attack Spain. No, 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 we can't. Anyway. Whatever. It is not fine. <laughs> What's not fine? How goes the colonies? I bet England has gone mad colonizing. Well, he has two colonies. We have stripped him of most of the other colonies. So, goodbye. Hey, guy, and you've got you've got two new cores. How do you feel about it? Feels nice, doesn't it? Tiptoe, coalition, Nova. Okay, looks fine. Super relations with the Palatinate. That much should be back any time now. Even Savoy is fine. Look at that. Okay. He is Catholic. So half of the HR he doesn't give a shit. So, you fellas. Uh, go see Jap Naples. And you can get on the boats, you can blockade this. I'm not sure it will be enough. We will see. We have more galleys. 
coming in. These are new models, guys. These are new models. Like, the old ones are not bad. The old rust buckets, but... That's fine. Show the world? Nothing too exciting. I haven't really invaded this stuff yet. I love this symbol. Theravanda. Like the Buddhists. They have like those different denominations and... They have like funny, funny faces and stuff. It's so cute. Where's the other one? This one. Vajar, Vajrayana. Okay, you get the conquest on, on Morocco. It's our diplomat coming back. Let's go with... I guess his capital will be as good as it gets. Yeah, Marrakesh. Marrakesh it is. No France. Enteras! Welcome aboard, and thank you so much for following. Hey, that's another siege. Well, unsiege done. Oh, he did 7%, only 82%, but we are sending a couple more galleys there, so it should be fine. Those fellas, I think you'll send them somewhere else? Like... You have to start beating more people at once. Conversion is happening still. Darby is the next one. Yeah, we'll convert that stuff from that heresy. So, Persian peasants, yeah, Persia, you can deal with them, right? Okay, that's everything over it at France, but we still are waiting on this. A bit unfortunate, but what you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Are you calling those? No, because they are really expensive. Hopefully you'll be able to do that. He doesn't have too much admin power. Maybe feeding him those two will not be that smart either. Especially as he's paying like 50% more for them. Let's just maybe take Arleane. Eh? That will be kind of tough for him to core. He'll have enough time. Like Those truces will last like 15 years. So in 50 years, he should be able to uh, get rid of that shit just fine. Ah, those boats. Outstanding. You know what? I think Mamluks will be the next one. Let's cancel the mission as well. I don't even have to wait for this war to end. I can just start the other war right now, right? Sweden is rivaling me. Well, nice. I like it. Valencia. Yeah, Orthodox England. That shall be a thing. Hmm. Kill this. And then come back. Those armies are just waiting for the opportunity to invade Morocco. He has only one fort that is his capital. And we are going to remove that from him. Covered in Naples. Okay, so he built the, the bigger fort, so that's gonna take a while. Holy shit, that's gonna take a while. There's the level 2 fort there. Well, you've got that work cut out for us. Yeah, this will be the first time I'll, I'll move there. So you guys will be ready to invade that. You go grab those armies. I think I will take mission for this. But, yeah, we will just basically remove Mamluks from the, from the game. We should finally finish it and give us some trade income. You would like that, France, wouldn't you? Peasants war. Oh, <laughs> what will you do about it, Spain? If you can't walk through my territory, I wonder. Also, you know what? I'm committing. Let's take another missionary. We are not missionizing fast enough, guys. That's just not fast enough. We have to. We have to work faster, harder. No stream dip sound. Oh my god! Oh my god! There must be a stream dip sound. Combat Zerg. Holy shit! Was that a pop up? 
Thank you so much. Twenty-five dollars. Okay, and there was no message even. Okay, so the message is no stream tip sound. There should be a sound, but it doesn't work. There should be a sound as if you get a new own marriage. I think. Yeah, I have to fix that. Kombatzerk, that's extremely generous. That's like the whole, like that's uh, like the whole next DLC plus a bit of it of the next one after that. That's amazing! Oh my god, thank you so much. Hey, we don't we no longer have yellow legitimacy, guys. Oh, I can't believe it. It's like the highest donation I've ever gotten. I will fix it for the next stream. That's for sure. It happened already in like a couple of days ago that I missed it. Uh, do I have Basal's or Personal Unions? I do have Basal Gaian, I have Basal Teutonic Order, I have Basal Syria, and I have Basal per Persia. I have no personal unions with anyone. Even though I'm Orthodox, I, I don't really play this game. Maybe I should. It's just $25, not that much. Like, it's still the by far the highest donation I've ever gotten, so it's fantastic. And I've broken a thousand subscribers on YouTube, guys. It happened just today. Just today. This is just one of the best days ever. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kumbatsar, that I'm overre overreacting. I don't want to make you feel awkward and stuff. Just, I can't believe it that you guys would actually liturgical. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? It is so rare, guys, that I'm going to not take the legitimacy, even though it would stop the looming disaster. That's how much I want the patriarch authority. Ten percent. Fantastic. Two hours for that. I'm not gonna share with you guys how long I have to work for that. <laughs> well, it's that's just amazing. It's just makes me feel like I'm doing something right. I've, oh, I've built a couple of galleys over here as well. Go join the other guys. <laughs> oh, Kombatzerk. Okay, Kombatzerk. Well, it doesn't, doesn't diminish the, the value at all. 40 minutes. Okay, guys. I, I've just... I just the wrong... I'm in the wrong sort of business, I guess. <laughs> well, you know what? If it's a little money, feel free to... Everyone just tip. Make it rain. Now, you know what, guys? For me... Twenty-five dollars. It's uh, the slight issue is that the euro is tanking, which is dragging down our currency as well. Like a year ago, that would be forty minutes for me as well, but it isn't anymore because it just lost like so much value compared to dollar, which means you gave me even more than like a year ago, like like maybe 40, 30, 40 percent extra. I should have converted all my currency to the dollars. You know what the problem was? I didn't have any. Uh, well, let's stop talking about the money. That's just, it's just stuff, right? Let's continue playing this game, which I sometimes loathe, but I always love. So, what will we go for? Hmm. Uh, yeah, this would be so nice taking Provence. Is Sunni a bad religion or you go orthodoxy for diplomacy? I went orthodoxy for diplomacy and also for stability. Because I don't feel like Ottomans need the extra military power and stuff from the Sunni religion. And you can keep up quite easily on on technology as you can see. But the stability of the big empire. But that doesn't work all that well. Yeah. Because it gives you extra, extra strong missionaries, it gives you extra manpower as well, which is great. You can then skip some of the free kill 233, welcome aboard today. Thank you so much for following. Like, like you can see, I wasn't expecting such a donation, guys. It doesn't fit. <laughs> anyway, see, this, this pop-up works. I have to I have to fix the other one. Construction worker here. Next. Oh, you know what? Construction workers... 
Sometimes I wish I was working on construction. Something maybe a little bit like more menial, but also kind of. You can see the what you are building, right? You can, you know what? Take them, bring the, take them aboard. You can like feel it. It's not virtual, like when I'm building some web application or something. You can't really feel that in your hand. And you know what? The DJ said it right. Money is just a number. You are learning a Norwegian Swedish. I have that option as well. I am still not sure I want to do this. <laughs> you are Swedish. We have a member of the Paradoxian and nobility. Well, at least like the extended family in the chat. Like for some reason, re reasons unknown. Uh, at work, I have the option to learn Swedish language, which just doesn't make much sense. If anything, it should be like Danish language. <laughs> and glorious armies are engaging uh, the, the bastardos from Naples. 4,000. Oh, that's right. So he seized up that one province. We are just working on for that humiliation. Um, let's start this war. If I attack him, who will join? Uh, all those fuckers. It doesn't matter. Actually, the Mamluks are not even involved. Fula, Togurt. I will be able to exp ex like, explore all this crap down here at least. Maybe even take it. Down here. I think it's actually a good idea. So do I want to make them go belligerent? Can I even tell who the allies are? Air. No, let's not make them go budget. That's not necessary. And you go with show superiority, so everything is free. Most will not join, but who cares? Uh, boom shakalaka. Uh, let's go with the invasion. I should have actually maybe done that some time ago because now that way we would be calling the stuff at the same time, right? You know what? It's November. Yeah, we can we can wait. We can wait. It's not necessary to do stuff right now, right? Oh god, we got it. We got it, we can peace out. Mm, I could have even hire another dude, let's do it. Yeah, he's pretty bad from the tradition we have, but it could be way worse, so five days. And we can humiliate the heck out of freaking Naples. You stink. Humiliation. Yes. Muniz. War reps. That's only 40%. It isn't doubled for the. even if he's not co belligerent. Break an alliance with France. Now, you know what? Let's break an alliance with Hungary. I don't want to fight him with this. Again. Yeah, it's pretty good. Scanner. Okay, you'll, you'll look into that, okay? It's down here. I think it's very really expensive though to core, so I have to think about it. But let's take this. Yeah, we have to take it. It's fine. Oh, 130, roughly. Power projection. Amazing. He should cease to be my rival, and then we will be. He should be able to rival uh, Hungary. That's gonna work beautifully. Oh yeah, he n he thinks he can do that. You know what? I'm feeling like wasting a little bit for powerpoints. Boom, check No, we didn't get that morale instantly, but it's still okay. It's still okay. That's still a destroyed... Uh, probably not squished the army. I'm sure he's running... He's actually running this way. So, there's, there are no forts around, so let's just do this. And then you'll try to invade the African nonsense down there. You have all those armies ready to rumble. You don't need that leader anymore. 
and gonna get hop on board and go to okay over there <laughs> the prince <laughs> Sweden did not kind of <laughs> decide what to do with see and there we go no longer by driver so now we can rival him you get a rival you get a rival everybody gets a rival And embargo. Oh, he's not my rival yet. Yeah, we have to rival him first. We gotta rival him first. You boys. No, you are not. Regular. You are just regular troops, so don't siege a fort. Just siege up the regular stuff. You know what I wanted to do as well? I wanted to start the war with these guys down here. Are you semi-stable? I mean, he is stabilizing somewhat. Problem is, everything is heretic over here. But he's converting this shit over. You can't tell, but he's doing that. So... Yeah, let's let's invade Baia and... He's allied to the other guy, right? No, he's allied to someone else. Who might that be? Maybe this guy over here, but we have 20 guys, he's level 10. That shouldn't be even a con co contest. How don't I have CB? I do not have a CB, that's right. Hmm. I need to build a colony somewhere around here. Well, that just sucks. I'm not going to pay stability for that. My stability is way too valuable and expensive. Constantinople has been renamed Istanbul, was it? No, it's Constantin... Yeah. Right now. It's not... Istanbul. He's not in the game, you guys. Why are you going there? You do have the mercenary stuff. So... You go beat up the Moroccans. And he can peace out France. Are you calling? Oh, he's calling one of them. Nice. So he does have some admin points. Yeah. It's giving Barry and Oriane. Eh? That will be it. So we get us closer to Perry. So piss off everyone around us. I don't really give a shit all that much. Give up claims? No. Uh, of course. Yeah, that's free. And it's nice prestige as well. That's 33 prestige. So we are going to uh, buy someone's. Uh, well, loyalty by using our prestige before clicking that peace out button uh, Brabant is actually untouched I think yeah he, is, he wasn't sieged at all so you know what we will peace him out with him so that should be fine it's only 16 so a lot of people will care but I don't really give a shit maybe we'll take Alan Cern as well it's only 4 how about Paris we could even take Paris Okay. Okay, now that, that, that this, this is like a decision, guys. It's not so bad. I mean, it's pretty bad. But, like, taking Puri right now. Yeah, we will let Europe cool down for a while, right? They may spawn a coalition, but who cares? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gain will have a hard time keeping up with this, but Perry will give him a lot, a lot of power. So let's pay down that, uh, that stuff over here. I'm guessing Gain will be the top dog. No, he's not, but we might as well just do it there. We can do new stuff. He can customize subject. We can rename it in the future. I've never seen this before. Oh, this is, this is completely new to me. I haven't colonized in a, like maybe literally over a year. Blockade them. And. Let's take it. Let's just, you know what? Take it. We will get now 53 prestige. 
<laughs> okay, so we can do it once more. So let's do it with the guy who is actually pissed off. I think it's Syria right now. You know he doesn't really have much of a reason. Let's do it. Boom. Thank you for the beautiful prestige France, by the way. Yeah, so much help. <laughs> Holy shit. Guyen. <laughs> okay, how is this unrest? Over extension 1.7. That's okay, it can go all the way up to 5, so he's completely fine. Just have to hope that he's not taking... Like, exploration ideas. That would suck. That would suck balls. Okay, let's wait for that coalition, guys. That's gonna happen. I don't think it's possible for it to not to happen. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Let's br bring those guys over here. Maybe they are too big for the coalition to spawn, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, Gaian will be so powerful. If he's able to convert that to orthodox, and he does have religious ideas. That will be fantastic. But this will do it for this episode. Hopefully you will join me next time. And, well, until next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>